Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop right there. This channel is not intended for kids under the age of 13. So if you're under the age of 13, please leave. Hey everybody, Arthur here with another unboxing video. Today we have G.I. Joe Classified Series Roadblock. And it comes in that typical G.I. Joe Classified Series packaging with that amazing artwork. We just got a, you know, a little bit of an angry roadblock going on right here. On the left side of the box, we got Roadblock holding up his big gun. And it's just, the artwork on the side is awesome. And I love at the bottom, he's just fighting off. Looks like they're a mixture. They, they, they look like alley vipers, but they look like bats at the same time. So they're like alley bats or something. I don't know. But it's cool that he's taking on like four of them. Just really showing that he has that brute strength. On the right side of the box, you see that Roadblock is number one. And you can see his file card. So if you want to go to the website, check out what he's good at. There you go. Here we got the back of the box with that amazing artwork. And I wonder what they're doing with this image. Is this just artwork to slap on the box to fill that space? Or is this just how they're going to be showing off their waves? Because with the whole pandemic, I would think that this would be an entire wave. That they just had to break down over sections due to the fact of, you know, production and everything due to the COVID situation. So that would be awesome if we're going to see poster-like images like this for each like wave um granted we didn't get the alley vipers yet but that would be cool or if they're just going to keep slapping this on there i would want them to stop and put in those old school little images like little squares with each character so just like the old school figures that would be sort of a cool thing to have on the packaging instead of just slapping this on every freaking figure roadblock comes with a silver knife it's sculpted really really nice uh, the detail is definitely there, the little rivets, the texture in the handle and everything. A very, very nice knife, and it's not gummy. This is actually a hard plastic, which is good, so you don't have to worry about this thing bending and twisting and all that stuff, or warping. Roadblock comes with this giant, like, Tesla coil shooting laser blaster thing, and it looks pretty good. It's all painted silver, got the red accents, the light blue... And I really like how they did the the front here. It's like a translucent blue plastic. So the whole thing's probably casted in it. And they painted it silver and everything. It just looks really, really nice compared to the uh, Cobra Island version of Roadblock, a.k.a. Heavy Duty. Um, this one doesn't have any writing on it. It doesn't say broiler or anything like that. It's just a really massive futuristic gun where the magazine comes out. Magazine on this one has the blue and everything looks really good and this one actually fits a lot more snug Inside this gun compared to the Cobra Island one, but this thing is still pretty massive and wicked Roadblock up close looks really good. I like his uh, Sculpt of his head, but I mean they didn't really paint the mustache as nicely as they could the beards Missing the edge and everything but it I mean when you see him you know, with his eyes and the eyebrows and all that stuff and his bald head. I mean, it, it's Roadblock. It's just a different sort of design that they went with him. So it looks all right. Ears sculpted nicely. He's got the vest. It's the version 2 Roadblock that everybody was complaining. It's like, why is it not like the original? Well, it's based off the version 2 Roadblock. So I do, uh, I do like the vest. Um, a lot of the gold and red and stuff, I mean... Lots of gold on him. <laughs> and it doesn't look bad, but I can understand why they've been reducing down such bright colors and the golds and stuff like that. Because they're getting a lot of, you know, feedback from fans that a lot of people didn't like it. I don't mind it, but I can understand how it could get annoying. So, like, the little subtleness here is alright, I guess. Uh, I love that tattoo. I love the line tattoo. It looks really, really good. They did a great job on that. It's got the little sheath on the front for his knife. It's got these bright red <laughs> impact gloves. And I like these gloves. In real life, I love these gloves. I love how they're like Kevlar and everything like that. Uh, we get into his legs. Textured throughout, sculpted nicely. Big gold freaking knee pad and shins with bright red. I mean, it's, it's not bad. Like the overall, like when you're looking at this figure all out, you know, not looking at stuff individually. I mean, everything blends together pretty well. And uh, I honestly, I could see Roadblock going out there with some uh, some gold stuff sort of 
flaunting, flaunting. He's got some, got some flair going on here. Now diving into articulation, his head can move all around. Could do a full 360. It's on disc hinge, so it can look down quite a bit. Can look up when the disc hinge wants to work. Because you got the neck part down here that's moving too. So the disc hinge right now on him is tight. But he can look down quite a bit um, once that disc hinge loosens up a little bit. Arms can go up like so. Biceps level, double jointed elbows, wrist rotation, and the wrist bends, you know, this way. And we'd also get a butterfly joint. So let's go ahead and look at this butterfly joint. So this is as far as it goes back. This is as far as it goes forward. So if we're looking how far, that's the butterfly movement. Why the hell did you put this thing? Why'd you put butterfly joints on them if they're not really going to work the way you want them to work? It makes no freaking sense at all that you're just putting butterfly joints just to check off. Hey, it's got tons of articulation. That Look at that movement. That's trash. It's trash. Ab is, there's a crunch under there, but it's blocked because of the vest. So get him to lean forward. It's a challenge. Leaning back, he can lean back quite a bit. He does have a little bit of gappage down there, but that's because this waist is on a ball. So you get tons of leaning, rotating, pivoting, the way a lot of figures, in my opinion, should have. Like, get rid of that locked-in bookshelf hip type of crap. Go with the ball. That's the way to do it. He does have the drop-down hips a little bit. They're tight, but they do drop down. He can do the full, <laughs> he can do the full Van Damme. And he can kick up quite a bit. He's got thigh cut, double jointed knees, boot swivel, ankle bend. And it's Hasbro. They got the generous pivot there. So kicking and you can't really kick back. You can kick back into the side, which looks a little weird. Now, one thing I was being very unsure about was the knife. The knife sculpted wise. It was awesome. It looks great. It's hard plastic, but he had big old hands. And I didn't think he was going to hold it nicely, and I was proven wrong. So you can have it this way or the other way, and he holds it super, super tight. So there's no looseness or anything. Just like, uh, you know, when you're putting in swords with some of those Marvel Legend figures in their hands, they all just flop around. This thing is held nice and snug, and you can get them into that nice combat stance ready to tear somebody up with it. This figure can hold all of his accessories, and I guess I shouldn't really say all of his accessories. He has a knife and a gun, so he doesn't even have a backpack, which is a, a bummer. But you can see that he can hold his weapons very well, the knife and his gun. It looks great, and, you know, once you guys get some of these weapon packs that are out there, you know, look at uh, Action Force uh, lineup. They have weapon packs you can get and stuff like that, so you can actually step away from this giant futuristic gun if you want. Now, if you ended up picking up Doggo or any of those mystery Fortnite weapons and you got that minigun, it actually fits very well in his hands. So you can equip it and he can wield a little minigun. And if you've been collecting these figures, I'm sure you've been collecting other types of figures maybe in this scale. So if you have some of those realistic looking guns, you can equip it with him and not have any issues. And uh, it looks good. So you can have those futuristic guns. You can have realistic guns. Here we got the first release roadblock next to the Cobra Island roadblock. And yes, they share a lot of parts and they look different. In my opinion, they look different. Even though they're sharing a lot of the same parts, even the same body, it still looks like a different character. Um, it, it's they, they look great. And you can really see why I'm using this one as like a heavy duty. And I don't mind having both of them because this figure is awesome. I love that Kimbo Slice style head sculpt but they're they look like they could be brothers i mean you could have them be you know brothers or you know military friends they got the same tattoos but i mean definitely this the plastic tones that they used were not the same what can i say i love this gi joe line even though there's imperfections it's still a great line and i mean this figure looks awesome with his accessories he comes with the limited accessories he comes with and these more realistic types of guns. I mean, I can have this rifle up to his, you know, cheekbone where he's using the optics and it looks awesome. And that is something that's going to be, uh, something I'm going to look forward to with all these figures that come from this series. As long as they don't get lazy, which with, with companies, you got to worry about that. 
you know, is the laziness. And one thing I look forward to is definitely when I start getting some of those Action Force figures, um, having the Action Force either teaming up or fighting the Joes, which would be awesome. And uh, it's it's going to be cool. And especially I have those weapon packs coming. I got the Sarge coming from Action Force. So it's definitely going to be fun to mix and play. So that sums up my unboxing and review of G.I. Joe Classified Series Roadblock. If you guys like what you saw, please hit that thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button for me as it'll mean the world. And make sure you guys hit that silver bell notification so you can stay in the know with what I am pumping out. And also, I want you guys to go check out Nate's Toys and Collectibles. The Facebook group's down below. That's where I get a lot of my G.I. Joe classified figures, as long as they're not exclusives. And I also get my Black Series from him as well, and some Legends and things like that. So definitely check it out. The link is down below. And most importantly, I want you guys to have the best luck hunting, keep on collecting, and have a beautiful day.